Hello everyone, it's Richard here. I've got another Masters 4 update for you. Okay, so Das Filament in Germany have produced a trial run, sort of first pilot batch of Masters 4 uh, refill filaments. And they were very kind and sent me one of the very first that came off the production line. So I have it right here. So the very first thing I wanted to do is actually just uh, go through opening it. Excuse the unboxing, but I wanted you to uh, go through the process of getting one of these master spool filaments and using it on the master spool and just seeing how rugged it is really because there's a few questions that have been raised about the um, shipping and will it survive and will it untangle and all that sort of thing so I wanted to go over those with you live while I sort of unbox the, the filament so here we go Okay, so it's come in a normal normal outer cardboard box and there is a bit of bubble wrap in there. Whether they'll do that in full production, I'm not sure. And we've got the main master spool coil in there and a business card from Das Font. Thanks ever so much, Roman. Thanks ever so much. Okay, so this is our filament coil. Let's take off the bubble wrap and basically they've done what I really hoped, um, right from the start, I hoped that people would vacuum seal these uh, reels because it's the best, it's the minimal amount of packaging you need and you do sort of need a bit of protection around um, any spoil, any reel that um, you get delivered. So this is about the minimum sort of packaging you could possibly get. Keeps all the air um, locked out of the spool and keeps all the moisture out so it's a really good way a vacuum seal with obviously the tie wraps on so I think the first thing I want to do is just weigh the weight of this I already weighed the weight of the box and that was um, the, the box that was shipped to me was 977 grams and that's quite important because um, Das Filament was replying to a few people over on Twitter because uh, they were asking will this be any cheaper will this be a, a cheaper um, way of getting 3D printing filament and Das Filament said because the overall package weight is under one kilogram they can ship one of these anywhere in the world for seven euros which I thought was pretty impressive um, that opens up a whole world of possibility for people because not everyone uses lots of rolls of filament and buys lots and lots of rolls of filament so buying one roll of filament and knowing you can get it shipped um, for seven euros anywhere in the world is actually really great it means you can actually it opens up a whole no another load of customers that may have been put off because uh, I often think well I might as well buy four or five rolls because the shipping's 20 30 40 euros anyway so I might as well make the most of it so I think that's really good and um, it's great that Dust Filament has actually said that you know that's what their intention is I know some people that buy filament right now and they have to pay more for the shipping than the cost of the filament. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that shapes out the overall costs um, you know, when people start ordering this for real. So I've, I've weighed that and it was 977. So I'm just going to use my trusty Salter kitchen scales to weigh just the reel itself. And there we go. Right. And we've got 800, yeah, 873 grams for the pack like that, which is pretty good. So obviously the bag weighs something and there's coils. Be interesting to see whether there is 750 grams or whether they've been slightly more generous. <laughs> okay, so the other thing I just wanted to, it, I can feel straight away that it's a really, really solid coil. Yeah, there's, there's no way this thing is gonna just suddenly fall apart or start twisting. You know, I'm, I'm really putting a lot of energy into trying to deform this in the bag and because it's all vacuum sealed in there it's really really solid there's, uh, there's no way this is this is gonna move around um, yeah it's, it's just like an absolute solid coil so that's really interesting now what I thought was um, what about if it gets punctured in transport so that does happen sometimes so what I thought I'd do before I open it for real was actually just simulate a puncture so if I just uh, pop the middle Hopefully that will just get some air in, maybe just cut the top a little bit as well, really get... Oh yeah, oh did you hear that? You can hear all the air going in. Now, that's quite interesting because now we'll see whether, how it feels now. So, yeah, it's slightly more flexible, but really that's still quite a solid coil. I can push the coils up and down, in and out, but they're being very well, very well um, protected by the tie wraps. So, but yeah, my bag's gone 
nice and floppy now, so that's fine. And uh, now it's time to actually open it up. And what I wanted to do is after taking the bag out, weigh it again, just to see. We've got a little sachet in there of discount and comes with a, a label as well, which I'm gonna use in a moment. So that's my coil that was shipped. Uh, it looks pretty well packed again. Pretty solid, you know, that's not going to just fall apart on you. There's no real problems. Drop it on the floor and there's, you know, no real issues there. So let's just quickly weigh that and I uh, can tell you how much the actual coil is. Okay, so there's 840 grams on there, which I guess they've been a bit more, been a bit more generous because that's supposed to be a 750 gram reel. So that's quite nice to know that um, uh, Das Filament do ship slightly oversized coils. <laughs> that's good. Okay, so now of course we've got um, a few things sort of uh, I wanted to look out for. There's a little tail end on the inside of the coil and that's, um, that's filament tells me that's always going to be in the same place. So one of the changes I'm going to make to the coil is to make sure we can actually clamp that. Other people were saying, does the tie wraps, do they cause any damage on the filament? So I'm going to have a really good close look now, see if there's any, no. They just, they absolutely just slightly move, which is good but they're holding quite nicely and they're in the three positions. Now, if I take my version 2.1 um, master spool, I'd actually put some slots in for the uh, tie wraps. And uh, I just wanted to see whether they line up. Well, they do, yeah, that's pretty good. So that's gonna be quite, that's quite a nice fit. I like that. That's looking quite good. So that's pretty easy to get on and Yep, yeah, pretty easy to get off. So I can't see any sort of damage at all to the coil uh, from the tie wraps or from the manufacturing or from the packaging process. Uh, it looks pretty good. So I think the next thing is obviously to put this on properly. Slide that down, put the other side on. And there we go, we have a full coil of dust filament, 1.75. PLA on a master spool ready to go. So a few of the things I'm going to do with this spool, um, <clears throat> one thing I'm going to do is design version three of the master spool to be even more um, easy to use. So one thing I'm going to do there is put um, little slots down both the sides of the master spool so you can push a tie wrap back in, thread it round and then seal it. This is if you want to take the coil back off again after you've used half of it, a little bit of it, all of it almost. Um, so we're going to try and do that and in integrate that uh, tie wrap system so you can use either a reusable tie wrap or just a normal tie wrap to be able to take the coil back off. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, the other thing I want to do is, as I say, incorporate a little um, hole or a catch inside here so I can actually just lay down the first bit of the filament that um, is uh, put on the coil just to clamp it in place to stop this maybe just moving around on the coil be nice to be able to know that that's clamped tight and the other thing is the the other end the end of the coil and a lot of people have pointed out that obviously once you've got this uh, once the tie wraps are cut and you've you've used the reel you want to be able to put that in place and a lot of tie wraps uh, a lot of um, uh, coil uh, reels at the moment have just a few holes in and you sort of have to poke the, the filament round and push it and bend it. Not so keen on doing that. So I'm going to try and find a way of making a little slot or a, a catch that uh, can do that. So that's going to be version three. Um, and 
uh, uh, I'll put those up, the version three up on Thingiverse and you imagine as soon as I've got it done, I'm actually gonna use this coil of DAS filament PLA on my master spot. I'm gonna use that on the machine to print the next version of Master Spool. It seemed a fitting thing to do and a good way to actually test that this system really works on a live 3D printer. So I guess the only other thing to do now is to cut, is to give this, make sure this is nice and tight and then cut our tie wraps because that's really the last thing that's stopping me from using this as a perfectly good coil of filament. So tie wrap one, tie wrap two, and tie wrap three. Now I'm I'm gonna remove them because, yeah, I just think most people would probably do that. They would probably get the filament and they would remove it. Quite easy to pull out. And that's it, you're sort of all prepared now. Okay, so I always like to just pull a few coils off to get the end nice. And this is where you need that, that end clamp to be able to just poke it in. So for now, I'm just gonna poke it through one of the little holes. So I can load this on the machine. I need to do the rework to the design first. Okay, so I let you know how I get on with that, using this to produce the next version of Master Spool and when the files are up. The only thing I wanted to say was DAS Filament have a small production run, or that I actually don't know what size production run, but they say the first production run, if people want to actually buy a coil of filament, and they're gonna have that up on their website on uh, Monday the 5th of February. So. Um, you'll be able to actually buy that. I'm going to try and get the version 3 of the Master Spool that's like, a little bit easier to use. Uh, it should be a bit lighter weight as well. I'm going to try and cut some plastic out of it. A little bit easier to 3D print. Oh, and the other thing was I'm going to make it just a few millimetres smaller. This one is just over 200 millimetres in diameter, which was a bit silly really. I don't quite know why I did that because a lot of machines have a 200 millimetre build capacity. So I'm going to make it 198. So a lot more machines should be able to 3D print the master spool. Okay, so I'll let you know how I get on and hopefully if you can buy a roll of the filament, do let me know how you get on as well. Uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks ever so much for watching.